What it do? Another day, another video. It's your boy, yeah, sir. It's your boy Jacobs, baby. Another video today. We got another video for you guys, man. And today we're gonna be watching the criminal history records of Lil Dirt. Three hundred. Oh, the fucking vibe, man. Let's get to the video. I'm gonna say too much. Lil Dirk experienced incarceration early on in his life from getting caught with a loaded pistol <laughs> right before the ball hit it. Damn. He got a he hit and being involved with the biggest gang in Chicago, the Black Disciples. Plus, he was even fighting attempted murder back in 2019. This is Top Trend TV, and this is the criminal history and biography. Of Lord Dirt. Lord Dirt. I got Fred on there, Reese Yo. What? They call me Double Dragon Work, get him. What you tell me, look? Bad and I shit. That nigga, that nigga was dread before the dreads. We can't have one. Dirt Banks, aka Lord Dirt, was born on October 19th, 1992. Libra Gang! Hey boy, birthday two days before my stop. Two. Lil Dirk was born and raised in the Englewood part of Chicago, Illinois, a high crime and gang violence area where almost every day a shooting occurs, around 70 homicides per year. So seeing death and violence was pretty normal for Lil Dirk and adapted to his environment. Even Lil Dirk's father was in the streets heavy and he was involved in a cocaine conspiracy which operated in Chicago from fall 1991 through May 1993. The primary organizer of this conspiracy was Dante Banks, Lil Dirk's father, who purchased powder cocaine from two suppliers. They say he got caught, uh, like, he got caught like eight million. He got caught eight million dollars in. Eight million dollars? Damn, put it on fucking way. Boy, no way. A lot, like, like six bricks. Like eight million dollars. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. A lot, like, like six bricks. Six bricks, eighteen million dollars, and six bricks. Sheesh. Bricks. Like eight million dollars, six bricks. Yeah. Favorite story right there. <laughs> And most of the transactions were made directly between the supplier and Mr. Banks. And at least three other deliveries were made directly to Mr. Banks' home. The testimonies of the suppliers. Wait, is, is that dirt on the floor, bro? What the? Wow, that's it. Cool. Indicate that these transactions involved multi kilogram quantities of cocaine powder and significant amounts of cash. And he got arrested only when Lil Dirk was seven months old. His father originally got life in prison, later on having his sentence re Actually, I don't, I don't think Dirk got that little tattoo right there, bro. I don't think Dirk got that tattoo no more right there. Deuced because of a law passed in Chicago. Nooski. So growing up without a father was pretty hard for Lil Dirk. So he turned to the streets at only the age of 11 and started to sell drugs and getting shootouts with rival gang members, losing multiple of his close friends due to all of the beef. Growing up in a small Chicago home with only three bedrooms and over 10 people living in the house, the streets began to take 10 people. But I heard, I heard this a lot, it, bro. It be hella people that live with. How, how can you live for like 10, 11 people? That shit be crazy, bro. Like, I'll be hearing those stories like all the time. That shit is tragic. How? I'm blessed. I'm blessed, bro. Take a hold of a little dirt. I live my whole life. I've been living with like three people. Imagine what level 10, 11. Faster and faster. So Lil Dirk knew he had to do something different to feed his family 
and to make a name for himself. So he started to rap at the age of 17, dropping his first song in 2010 named Lamron Wasted. With Lil Durk still trying to find his sound, he still stayed consistent and dropped another song in 2010 with a little Reese named L's B. And this song did pretty good in their hometown, really showing Lil Dirk and Lil Reese's true potential. And at this time, Lil Dirk was pretty close with Chief Keef and his movement, GBE, but later branching off into his own movement named OTF. But around March 2011, Lil Dirk dropped his next song named I'm a Hitter. And this song went crazy gaining them fans from all over, bringing a new sound to the drill scene. With the auto-tune he used, fans loved the new sound. But around October 2011, Lil Durk was arrested for his first charge, where he was pulled over for drinking. Upon the search, police found a gun, and Lil Durk ended up getting locked up for it, doing three months in jail, and ended up getting out on bond just to go back months later. And this time, he had to cut off his dreads being processed in real prison, so he quickly. They made up, swear to God. They made him cut his dress off. Oh my God, I would have been so much pain, bro. I, I never knew why he cut his dress, but like, I never really looked into it. It's like, that shit's crazy. They made him cut his dress. That's pain. What you know about pain? About it. And then Mug Shower thought he pissed as fuck. Nigga so pissed, bro. My dress is straight gone ball head. That's why I can go to jail, dog. They ain't, they ain't catching me. Fuck him. Realized that he couldn't let his talent go to waste. Plus, his baby mother gave birth while he was locked up. And he got so many baby mamas like. Why Dirk? Just think about like, why Dirk hit that? <laughs> What the hell? What were you thinking when you hit that bro? Like, And he says that a nigga was horny. really made him buckle down. So this time when he got out, he put out his first mixtape around April 2012 named I'm Still a Hitter. Then around October 2012, he dropped another mixtape named Life Ain't No Joke. And these mixtapes went crazy, really putting Lil Durk on the map. Plus, he had signed the Def Jam around this time and he had his hit single out named This Ain't What You Want. But here's what Lil Durk's Oh, This Ain't What You Want. That, that's why I started, hey, that's why I really started with Lil Durk. Yo, we got LA Capone in the best. I'm like, what that man? That's why I was really all this to Lil Durk. I'm telling me, This Ain't What You Want. And then he started keep, keep bringing out bangers then. Next thing you know, he came over. If you wanna beat the president, you gotta beat the pay bros. Let the pay rolls and everything. Yeah. I know the whole song about horror. Oh my God, bro. I do this shit. I'm a real Dirk fan. Like, I real do this shit, man. And he had his hit single out named This Ain't What You Want. But here's where Lil Dirk's life will come to a halt. Because around June 2013, he was arrested again with a loaded 40 caliber handgun in Englewood after he threw the gun into his car as police approached. The 20 year old rapper whose real name is Dirk Banks was picked up around 3 a.m. in the 700 block of South Green Street, police said. Lil Dirk was standing near a car when police pulled up to investigate a man with a gun. As police arrived, Lil Durk was spotted tossing the gun into the car. Police recovered a 40 caliber weapon and arrested the rapper without an incident. Lil Durk was charged yeah, with unlawful yeah. use of a weapon. It was his second offense, police said. In October 2011, he was hit with gun charges, including possession of a firearm, and plus the serial number was scratched off the gun. He later pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of aggravated unauthorized use of a weapon. He was locked up with a $100,000 bond, and his lawyer claimed to have nine affidavits, and one of the witnesses even admitted that the gun was his. Lil Durk was then released around July of 2018, and after months of building up a Damn, hold on. What do you think? I'm only being in that cell, dog. Bro, 
No way, bro. Playing no then way. released around July of 2018. And after months of building up a buzz while he was locked up, he dropped another mixtape around October of 2013 named Side to the Streets. And this was a pretty big mixtape for him. Then dropping many more yeah, mixtapes really like so Side to the Streets 2. Yes, sir. My name, and yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, really dark fan, yes sir. Remember that nigga name, 300 bro. days, 300 nights in 2015. 300 nights. 300 days, 300 nights. 300 days, 300 nights. 15. All of these mixtapes did great for Lil Dirt. Then he dropped Lil Dirt two times, and they forgot. But around 2018, Lil Dirt left the label he was signed to. He says he was having trouble dropping the music his fans really wanted to hear. So throughout them years, Def Jam really held Lil Durk's true potential back, dropping his first independent project in 2018, named Just Cause Y'all Waited. But Lil Durk would find his life coming to a halt again because he was arrested again around June 2019 for attempted murder. On February 5th, 2019, Lil Durk is alleged to have shot at the victim, 23-year-old Alexander Witherspoon, According to Paul, <sighs> Lil Dirk and King Vaughn was in an Atlanta courtroom for a bond hearing on June 20th, 2019. Although a judge initially denied bond for the incarcerated rappers and was finally allowed to post $250,000 to secure their release from jail. He didn't get house arrest, but the judge laid out several conditions Dirk had to follow. He had a curfew and he had to wear an ankle monitor. Plus, he could be in no contact with King Vaughn. Dirk faces five felony charges, including intent to commit murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm, during commission of a felony, possession of Damn. a firearm by. Damn, bruh. They doing him dirt. They did him dirt. By a convicted felon and another charge associated with a criminal street gang to participate in a crime. And I believe Lil Durk is still fighting these charges. Lil Durk has also lost some close homies due to the streets, including L.A. Capone in 2013. L.A. Capone, 2013. R.P. L.A., man, R.P. L.A. Hold on, hold on. Nah, L.A. R.P. L.A., man. 2013, I'm living on that time. OTF Nunu in 2014. LL Nunu, man. LL Nunu. And King Vaughn, 2020 of this year. And I have a criminal L -L -K -V. about King Vaughn over on my page. So make sure you go check that out. Because it's pretty interesting. And sadly, over 20 more. Lil Durk has also collabed with the artist Drake, which has turned him up to the max. Baby which has nearly 200 million views on YouTube. And the name of that song is Laugh Now, Cry Later. Lil Durk also has a total of six children. Unknown about how many baby mothers he truly has, but only two of them are public. But that'll be about it for Lil Durk. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let Imagine hitting that. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> this is all I wanna say, bro. Imagine hitting that. You gotta be one horny nigga to hit a bitch like this. Let me know down there in the comments who y'all wanna see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, I'm out. Man, that's the end of the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you know. Roll to follow subscribers. Road to a more Road to a thousand subscribers to put Jay Clutch and I'm gone.